Hey, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art painter. I'm coming to you from my art studio to share with you one of my uh, nuggets of wisdom that <laughs> have helped me in my career, my personal life, and I hope that they help you also uh, by sharing them with you. And this one is for artists, uh, creative types, right? And just people in general. Why not? It's the same thing. You know? It all fits. How do I deal with critics? With critics. Right? Everybody has critics. Everyone, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna have, you know, and, and, and some, most critics are the people closest to you. They happen to be uh, members of your group, you know, your tribe, uh, your family, your mom. Your mom might be saying, hey, be careful with that. I, I, don't, I don't want you to get hurt. Or your brother could be like, hey, I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Are you sure you're gonna do that? You know, they try to kind of, they, they don't know that, they don't know what they're doing but they're stopping you from your own greatness. And we already have so much going against us, you know, mentally, personally. We have uh, all these doubts and fears. You know, let's say you're, you're, you're a musician and you're like, I'm, I'm going to uh, go on a tour and I don't, I don't have that much money. I'm not, I'm not extremely prepared. I don't know what's going to be like, but I'm going to play as I go and I'm going to make it happen. And if I don't, I'm going to get burnt and I'm going to learn from it and whatever. But I'm going to make it happen. I'm just going to keep swimming, like Dory says, right? Just keep swimming. Uh, and then your, your big brother, your, your mom or whoever, you know, it's like, are you sure you're going to do that? Be careful, you know. You know, you, you, you can't live off of dreams and this and that. And many people, what happens with them is that they don't push hard enough because they're shamed. They're either shamed by others, they're shamed by themselves. You need to handle that. And when I say critics, I don't just say others. I say the little boys in the head too. You need to handle it. And one way to handle it is to, of course, if it's others, you want to talk to them, right? You want to handle them. You want to talk to them. You have to develop the courage and say, you know, I want to talk to you. When you say stuff like that, it, it, it really hurts me because I know, you, I know you mean well. You tell me that you mean well, but this is what I got to do right now. You know, it, I, I just got to do this. And if I'm going to hear something from you, I want it to be positive. Otherwise, keep it to yourself. And that's, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to completely know and understand yourself that, okay, this is where they're coming from. I can't fix it. They're always telling me this. They're always going to say this. I try talking to them. They won't listen. I'm going to rise higher as a person and say, I know where that's coming from. It's coming from fear. I'm going to choose to limit my time talking to this person about the subject or just in general. Because if, if, if it's about the subject, uh, maybe you listen to the subject, but the subject does come up. Just because sometimes the, pe people are the craziest creatures. Sometimes the subject just comes up either by you because you want to be reminded and shamed into it for some uh Craziness to hold yourself back, you know, uh, self-sabotage. Or by them, that they want to remind you, hey, you're going too fast, be careful. Uh, you know, you're going too hard at it. You're going to disappoint yourself or whatever. It either comes from both ways. None of it means well. I want you to understand that. It's fear. Fear can't mean well. Of course, people say fear is survival and this and that. Yes, of course. But if we thought like that, we would never jump into the into the water in the ocean or we, you know people wouldn't you know uh dive or whatever because there's uh there's sharks in there there's you know we don't know what it looks like it, or people wouldn't go to the moon it's it's uh it, yes fear is for survival but it also hinders you from your greatness if you if you uh don't use it for survival fear should i think it's, it's only there for survival it shouldn't be there for 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 to stop you from moving forward to what to achieve your goals. If it's stopping you from moving forward, it's I heard this from a from a sales expert uh, named Grant Cardone. You should get his books. It's uh, it's amazing. It's called the 10x rule. Um, <laughs> I don't get paid for it. I just love the book. I like I like to talk to people about it. Um, when you're going at, 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 at you know to to your goal, and and you 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 see fear. It's a sign that that's what you need to go to. Wherever you fear the most, it's a sign that that's where you want to go. That's one of his uh, one of his teachings, uh, Grant Cardone's teachings, is that is that fear is a signpost to get you to your to your goals. And uh, I've certainly learned that, 
and I've applied it in my own life and I, I knew it was true because the things that I fear the most were the things that were holding me back. And, and once I went through that fear, I noticed, oh, it was, it was like a ghost hiding behind my, my, my quote unquote treasures, you know, whatever those treasures are for you, you know, a new skill set or new people, new opportunities, money, whatever it is. And the way to handle, let me get back to my, to my notes here. The way to handle critics is by knowing, okay, this person's coming from that. I try to talk into them, they, they won't listen, whatever. I'm going to understand that that's where that comes from, okay? Same thing with your head. I know I am just having fear. Every time you catch yourself pulling back, you know, retracting or whatever, it's just you having fear. And just, just remind yourself, um, I'm experiencing fear and it's okay, I'm still moving forward. I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo, I'm a fine art painter and thank you so much for watching.